And now your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Keel. It is a first alert day as we continue to track the potential for some severe weather across the entire TV6 viewing area. So we do have a PDS tornado watch in effect until 9 o'clock this evening. Several tornadoes a possibility along with winds in excess of 70 to 80 miles per hour. And we could be talking about some large hail as well. Uh, right now we don't have any warnings for our immediate viewing area, but uh, just across the river in Dubuque County, including the city of Dubuque, uh, we do have a considerable threat tag here on the severe thunderstorm warning that is going to continue here for that potential of hail up to an inch and three quarters in diameter. Also, we've been watching for a little rotation here uh, right around that Epworth area just along Highway 20. There's also a lot of lightning associated with this as well. And where we're seeing that pink shading, that's where we have that possibility for perhaps a little bit of hail. So again, right around Epworth, just to the east of Epworth there along Highway 20, we are getting a little bit of rotation here on our velocity scan of first alert live Doppler radar. So this storm is rotating and could potentially uh, produce a tornado here as it continues to track off to the north and east. It might clip extreme northwestern portions of Joe Davies County, but uh, right now this does look to just stay in Dubuque County and head into southwestern Wisconsin. And this is just one of many storms right now capable of producing tornadoes here in the state of Iowa. Notice just west of Des Moines, we have a line of severe thunderstorms and several confirmed tornadoes right now. These are particularly dangerous situations. Uh, we've already had reports of damage around Corning as well as around Carbon, Iowa. And notice we have a couple of confirmed tornadoes. That's the uh, purple boxes that you see here that are producing considerable damage. So this is just southwest of Des Moines. This is heading northeast toward Winterset, which of course was hard hit just a couple of years ago. And of course, all eyes on Des Moines as well as these storms continue to track off to the north and east. I wanted to show you the debris detection. Look at this debris here just to the north of Creston, south of Greenfield here. Uh, Greenfield needs to watch out uh, very closely because that could be heading directly toward town. Uh, what this particular radar product is doing is picking up any debris that is not precipitation. So this could be anything uh, such as trees, wood, uh, anything that's not precipitation related. And it turns it a uh, shade of blue and that dark blue does indicate a very dangerous tornado that is doing some damage. So this is all uh, right along a cold front here in the western part of the state. So notice all these storms firing up here over the last couple of hours. This line is going to continue to move off to the east and notice this clearing right here. We need to watch for some storm development over the next couple of hours because that could also kind of uh, start ahead of this main line and then be our threat here in the Quad Cities. So we'll take you hour by hour with exact track.